Oh, greetings, real filmers. I have comedian Phil Lamar here. I'm here in D.C. at Awesome Con. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good, Brandon. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, well, first off, um, I, I know you had, have had an opportunity to, to go to you know, other uh, cons, so to speak. Um, where does Awesome Con rank for you among you know, those other experiences that you have, seeing that this is the first Awesome Con? Um, well, it's interesting because, yeah, every city has its own flavor, right. has its own uh, feel. And it's, it's interesting. What's most notable about this one is that it's a first-year convention. You know, so there's a lot of new feeling to it. A lot of times you'll come to a convention and everybody who's there, you know, a lot of the uh, people who work there and the people who are coming to visit there have been there before. It's like, this is our thing. Here there's a lot more people just like, wow, I've never seen this. I've never been to a convention. This is my first time. You know, I think a lot more first time experience than usual. And it's a great, it's a great feeling. Okay. All right. Uh, well, with that being said, uh, has, has there been already been an experience thus far? I'm sure like at each event that you've gone to, there's been, you know, one one moment that's kind of stood out with you with, you know, fans that have perhaps come up to you. Has there has there been a moment that's kind of stuck out, you know, in your head thus far that's happened at this event or is kind of hard to pick? Um, actually, the the most. Uh, sort of standout moment was uh, I got to do a panel with my friend Billy West who also does uh, the voices of uh, the lead characters on Futurama and us getting up there to play and it was really less like an interview and more like just us getting a conversation that you know 200 people happen to be sitting in on and that was actually a really really fun fun moment. Cool. Well, well, speaking of Futurama, I'm a huge fan of Futurama. More importantly, I'm a huge fan of Mad TV. Uh, with all the characters that you've done, particularly with um, uh, as with the mailman that you used to do all the time on, on that reoccurring character is one of my favorite characters. Um, so, uh, is there is there any are there any plans to bring uh, that show back, even if it's maybe like a one time thing for like a reunion show? Because I know like. Um, in Living Color, uh, I believe they're doing kind of like a, a one-time, a one-off like reunion show. Have, have there been any talks uh, in regards to Mad TV? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, actors aren't producers, and producers make decisions uh, about stuff like that. So they will probably decide that, decide how much money they want to spend on that, and then decide which of us they want to be involved before they ever call any of us. But as far as I know, no. Okay. All right. Well, well let's... Well, I mean, the thing is, they just released the second season on DVD, <laughs> okay. like 18 years later. So, <laughs> right. uh, I mean, actually, it's probably not even that. Actually, it might be that long no, ago. Yeah, yeah. So, I wouldn't hold my breath. Okay. All right. All right. Well, last question for you. Um, outside of Futurama, and you know, uh, what what other projects are kind of, are you working on currently right now, and are in the process of you know being released? Is is there any you know film projects that that you're working on currently right now? Um, I just, uh, what did I just work on? Oh, um, we've got new episodes of Futurama coming out this summer. Um, and I've been doing uh, the role of Baxter Stockman on the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Nice. And uh, in addition to that, I've been doing some on-camera stuff, including um, there's a web series called Chat Room of Solitude that my friend Jeff Lewis from uh, the web series The Guild did. And it's, it's on uh, Stan Lee's uh, World of Heroes. World of Heroes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And it's it's very funny and sometimes profane. And I've also uh, got my own web series, Inside the Legend, um, that I, I starred in and produced. Uh, and we've got new episodes up on uh, InsideTheLegend.com and on my damn channel on YouTube. Awesome, awesome, man. Well, thank thank you again. Thank you for your time. All right, there you have it, real filmers. Till next time.